it's me, Mandy, because you're at Mandy's place. Anyway, I am sitting here trying to figure out what I could do for packaging my embellishment swap for Rosita. And I was playing with some paper. Well, I made two different envelopes. I made this one. And it opens like that. And then I made this one. So two different sizes, two different styles, you know, but the same, the same aspect. You just either put the paper this way or you turn it this way. That was all the difference. Okay. So we're going to jump into it, obviously. I don't like the lighting in here, guys. I'm super sorry. It sucks right now. So you just kind of fold it over to wherever you want it. Let's get this Mandy's Place thingy out of the way. And... This can make some difference, no difference of where your middle part is. And then you fold this over as far as you want it. I like to make sure they're overlapping. Fold. Ready? Okay. My paper has this perforated line that I'm supposed to cut off. So I'm just going to do that now instead of before. Whoa. Bye. That's gone. Okay. And this is a eight eight and a half by 11 inch pad of paper and this is just designer paper from like walmart so now you're going to um fold the top this is going to be the top the way i'm looking at it fold the top down as far as you want it and crease and then fold the bottom up just a little bitty as far as you want it And then open it and cut the creases. You could be cooler than me if you want. Go however you want. I'm just, uh, I just got an angle at the bottom just because it looks a little bit cuter. You don't have to. And I'm making mine bigger because the embellishments um, that I'm sending are bigger. Oh, um, so I want to make sure there's enough room in there, but like for this one, you could cut this in half and you know, this is really long, like hand, um, as you know, eight and a half by 11. So but you could cut this in half and have two of them. If you wanted a cute little envelope, that's, you know, that size, you know, play with it, do it how you want to. It's your craft. I'm just showing you what I'm doing for mine. Super, super easy. I've done this before, and someone asked me before how to make an envelope. Well, this is a an easier way to make an envelope, but um, I just thought I'd come on here and show you guys what I was doing. And in case you guys didn't know or might give you an idea, you can also do this with, like, these bags. You can cut these in half and um, make multiple ba little bags out of them. And then let's just whoosh that out of the way. So now we're going to put this back together, and I love tacky glue, so that's what I'm going to use. Sorry, I have a huge pink tacky glue if I can get it to come out. Sorry, guys. Taking the little... Okay, there we go. I'm using just a little bit, not a lot. Like, I'm not saturating the paper just enough to make it stick and I'm not being neat about it and just shoving it on there push it together do the same thing with the bottom go around the edge here whoa that was a bit much okay otherwise it gets too wet and there you go that's that is wet but then you know it's closed you can stick whatever you want down in there plenty of room you can either have this shut if you want. You could sticker this shut, or you could do like uh, put a brad and wrap some string around it if you want to. You can do it however you want. This one has the stuff in it, and after the stuff's in it, it kind of keeps the top closed by itself. But this is loaded with fun goodies that I'm not showing you, ladies. And I put um, we have to have our name on the package. Um, so I these are like the cutoffs that I used. I just glued it on there upside down. And I did this one here so I could put the host's name right here. I have my name on the back. Super simple, super easy. You can do it with any sheet of paper. This is just happened to be an eight and a half by eleven that I grabbed. Um, once again, just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. 
and hopefully you guys use it and if you do post it on pass on facebook i would love to see it and uh any questions comments concerns leave them in you know the comments below or you can email me and my email will be in the description box thank you ladies bye